Hi, I'm Bill Willoughby. I'm the CEO of Cypress Development Corp. I have a, I'm a mining engineer, and uh, I've got a doctorate in mining engineering and metallurgy from the University of Idaho. I worked for uh, Tech Cominco for about 18 years, and after that, I was a president and COO of a company called International Nexco for 10 years. And then for the last year, four years prior to coming to Cyprus, I had my own consulting firm, which we still operate. Well, personally, I believe in the project because um, every step along the way, I, I have questions about it, obviously. Every step along the way, we come to a, a point, a decision point where we get the answers, and the answers have always been positive. Uh, first it was the size of the deposit. Is it really there? Is it really uh, as big as we think it is? You know, drilling showed us that it is. Uh, the second part was on metallurgy. Uh, a year ago was the first time we started doing leach tests on it. The initial results weren't all that great, but we found that if we raise the temperature somewhat, use a little bit stronger acid, sulfuric acid, uh, the lithium is leachable. So that was another checkbox. Now we're working through the checkboxes on economics as far as operating cost and capital cost and whether we can make a product at the tail end, which is market quality. Well, we're in an excellent location. We're right next to Alba Marley's uh, Silver Peak operation, which is one of the first, it is the first lithium brine operation in the world. It's been operating for about 50 years now. Um, they have their uh, evaporation ponds just to our west. We've got a good location in terms of road access to the property, power lines nearby, um, experienced workforce obviously in Nevada. So well, a lot of things line up for us in that regard. We've gone from drilling to having a PEA, preliminary economic assessment, within the space of two years, which is extraordinary in itself. Uh, we did that by drilling, core drilling 23 holes on the property, about only 2,000 meters of drilling. But the deposit itself is flat, it's extensive, and it's quite large. We have almost two billion tons of material of this claystone in this location. And when you drill a hole from one location and go to another a couple kilometers away, you're getting about the same consistency in clay and the lithium values that are contained in it. So we were able to drill the property out in short order and advance it quickly into doing a PEA, Preliminary Economic Assessment. We have a project which has a $1.45 billion NPV at 8%. The IRR came out at 32.7%, so quite strong economics. That was based on $13,000 a ton lithium carbonate price. That was provided by an independent market study by Benchmark Research. The capex for the project was $482 million. The project itself will require a sulfuric acid plant as part of it, and that sulfuric acid plant was about $100 million in the total capex. So where you actually go into development is significant. The PEA for us was significant in indicating that we had an economic project. The PFS is the next step, which is your demonstration that it is economic. And then finally you get to the feasibility study where you get into the nuts and bolts of the entire project, how it's actually going to be developed. And then from there it's, you can have a bankable feasibility study where you're arranging financing and then you go to permitting and development. Uh, as we go into the PFS, we'll start our baseline studies for the setting up the permitting as we go forward. PEA, we found that we actually had some rare earth values in solution. We've been studying that for about a month and a half now, seeing if that's getting verification off of that. Um, it's coming out in our PEA document. Uh, we can't put it into the economics yet, but it looks like there are interesting values that are there. And having scandium, neodymium, dysprosium, those are the significant ones that we have in solution. So we'll study that more as we go through the PFS. You were discussing other comparable deposits out there. Uh, those claystone deposits, the companies that hold them, are in the several hundred million dollars in their market caps. Um, they're a little bit further along in terms of studies. The Lithium Americas project, they're at a feasibility study level now. They just finished a PFS. Global Geosciences is working on their PFS at this moment. Uh, we're catching up quickly to those. So I would say there's a definite room for us to appreciate in market cap.